Hey guys, I'm back to another video. As always, NFL predictions this time week eight. Let's get started. By the way, with the TV, I can't turn it off and I'm not going to mess with it anymore. So, right in Jacksonville at Tennessee. That's the Thursday night game. Give me Jacksonville. Like I keep saying, Tennessee, they're still in that rebuilding year. And I just feel like Jacksonville, they want to fight for that playoff spot. And if they're going to do that, they have to beat Tennessee. So, I just feel like they're going to win. Next one, Washington at Cincinnati. This sit, I mean, not at Cincinnati. Washington against Cincinnati in London. I didn't call it last time. I'm sorry about that, guys. But give me Cincinnati on this one. Look, I know Washington's doing well. I know, I know Kirk Cousins is doing well. But I just feel like Cincinnati, they have to get over this hump somehow. Right now, Baltimore's struggling. Baltimore's on a bye. This is Cincinnati's chance to get ahead of Baltimore and a half a game behind Pittsburgh. I just feel like Cincinnati, they have more to lose right now than Washington does. Arizona at Carolina. I'm a, this is a tough one for me. You know, Arizona, they're coming off a tie. Carolina, they're coming off a bye, but I'm just going to go with the home team on this one. I don't know if I'm going to be right or not, but this could go either way. I'm just going to go with Carolina just because they're the home team, okay? Detroit at Houston. Again, this is another tough one. I'm going to go with Houston on this one because they, as badly as they played against Denver and as badly as they play on the road, they play pretty good at home. So I'm just going to go with Houston because their track record at home this year. And remember, Osweiler, he's doing good at home. It's just on the road, he struggles. And you see his statistics at home versus on the road. They're very different. That's the only reason I'm going with Houston. Seattle at New Orleans. Give me Seattle. It's simple. Just give me Seattle on this one. Seattle is playing against a team that has one of the worst defenses. They still have one of the worst defenses. And I know they just got their first round pick back. But they need a lot more help than that. And I think Seattle, they're just going to run over them. And they're going to get... And I think Wilson's going to have a great game. And their defense, I think, is going to hold Breeze just enough. Kansas City and Indianapolis. This is another one where I won with the home team because this could be anyone's game. Both of these teams are fighting to stay alive. They're fighting to stay alive right now. I don't know what the records are right now, but I know one thing. It's If they want to, if they want to have a playoff spot, they have to do something now. Okay, this is probably the toughest game I have to pick all year. The Jets at Cleveland. And the reason is, is because, you know, I just don't know about the Jets. Brian Fitzpatrick, you know what he's been doing this year. And, you, and yes, he did well against Baltimore, but Baltimore sucks against backup quarterbacks. Take a look at their track record. You'll see what I mean. But I'm still going to go with the Jets on this one. Cleveland... They're just getting decimated by injuries, and now they just lost another quarterback to a concussion, and I don't know if he's going to be ready. And even if he is ready, you know, how is that concussion going to affect him? I just can't go with Cleveland right now. I don't know if Cleveland's going to win it. I don't know if Cleveland's going to win more than one game this year. I think they're going to win one, and that's about it. I just can't see Cleveland doing much at all this year. Can't see him winning much. New England at Buffalo. Remember what Buffalo did in New England? Well, Brady's back. They're going to return the favor. I'm going with New England. Oakland at Tampa Bay. This is another tough one, but I'm going with Oakland on this one. And the reason it's a tough one, like I said, teams that travel from the West Coast to the East Coast or East Coast to the West Coast, they typically struggle, but... I but Oakland, they're doing great. They have, they're either, they have the division lead, or tied for the division lead, I'm sorry, tied for the division lead. And that's just really good for them. And I feel like they continue this hot, they continue their run against Tampa Bay. San Diego at Denver. I'm going with Denver. Denver is playing at home and against San Diego on the road. They lost in heartbreaking fashion, and I mean heartbreaking breaking fashion.
I believe that was against San Diego. Was that against San Diego? Hold on, let me check. I want to make sure I got that right. Did I play San Diego this year? Hmm. Thought they did. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, week six, Thursday night. Sorry, I, w I didn't know where I was looking for. Want to make sure I had it right. I do. I watched that game. Oh, my God. I remember. That was crazy. Green Bay at Atlanta. Uh, I'm going to go with Green Bay. I know Atlanta does great at home. But Green Bay, I feel like they're going to continue the, mom the momentum that they have and continue to play well. Continue to play well. Look what they did against Chicago. In the second half, they finally figured out their formula, and I think that's what they're going to do. But I think Atlanta, I think Julio Jones is going to have another great game, and I think he breaks the 1,000-yard barrier. That's what I think. I think he's going to do that this in this game. Philadelphia at Dallas. At Dallas, Give me Dallas. Dallas is playing at home, and Carson Wentz, he's struggling right now. I just cannot see them winning until he improves and the whole team improves. And finally, Minnesota at Chicago. Minnesota lost last week. I'm giving them a win against their division rival on Monday night because I just feel like they're going to do well. I feel they're going to do well. And the teams that are on the bye, that's Baltimore, Pittsburgh, the Giants, San Francisco, Miami, and L.A. And by the way, in case you guys are curious about what's going on with me, um, I've been keeping track since week three. I'm keeping track since week three. And so far, I am 42, 32, and 1. That's where I am so far this year. I'm actually having this contest with my parents. Right now, my dad is 45, 29, and 1, and my mom is 40, 34, and 1. So I got to catch up with my dad. I'm supposed to be the football expert, and yet I'm losing to him. So I got to catch up with him. And guys, by the way, my next video, I'm going to try to make this my next video. Um, I'm going to do another contender versus a pretender. I want to do that midseason, and then I'm going to re predict my playoff predictions. And that's what's, hopefully I'm going to do that on Monday, but I'm not making any promises. Hopefully that will get done on Monday, but I will get it done. It will be done. All right. See you guys next time.